Okay, so you can see at this end here we've marked out the rough position for the bridle on the top rail. Now we need to mark out the position for the bridle joint on the top of the leg. You notice that when I've rearranged my legs, I've got the face and edge marks facing in, so I know that that's in the correct position. Okay, at this point here, I need to mark out the thickness of my top rail onto the end of the leg. So it's pretty simple. With again your square, stock hard against the side of that leg, slide it up, place your timber on top, and this time, I'm using my fingers to make sure that the end of the uh, leg is flush with the uh, piece of timber for my top rail here. Once I'm confident that it's flush, I remove like so, and then draw in the shoulder like so. What was the rule before? We had to make sure that the, um, when we're doing squaring around, that the square was either sitting on the face edge or the face, and we now square those lines around, similar to what we did with our bridle joint. One, Two, there's my face edge, and making sure I've got that right. Back together, let's check. Face and edge mark, face and edge mark, they're going to go together like so. And cut.